Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Kendra, and today we're going to show you an easy meal. I was so intimidated <laughs> by my Instant Pot for so long, two years actually. I got this, I got an Instant Pot for my wedding. Yeah. Didn't touch it for two years two because years? it was just a robot that I didn't know how to work. Okay, okay, so if you're feeling bad, I mean, two years, guys. Two years is a long two time years. to not touch this. I just thought it was a bomb ready to go off at any minute I touched a button. So, if you are in the same boat as me and you're just starting out with your Instant Pot, this is a great recipe to start with. This is a dump and go recipe, you put it all in, you push a few buttons, maybe two, and you're done. You're good to go and dinner is ready. So we'll walk you through this easy recipe that you can put together in literally minutes. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, okay. guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. Okay, so the one thing you don't want with this recipe is the burn notice. So we're gonna just show you our tips and tricks of how to not get the burn notice when you're cooking rice and other things in the Instant Pot. So we have a cup and a half of just plain white rice here. Now if you're gonna use brown rice, it's gonna be a different cooking time. So anything that's white rice, maybe stick with white rice for this recipe. Okay, so we have a cup and a half. Then we have four cups of chicken broth. You wanna grab that one and dump yes. it in? And I love how much flavor it gives the rice and everything in this recipe. It's right. just something as simple as chicken broth. Yes. Now the secret with when you're cooking rice, if so you have one cup of rice, you want one and a fourth cup of liquid. Yeah. So we have a cup and a half of rice, so that means we get two cups of liquid. So yeah. we're going to mix the rice and liquid right now to make sure all the rice is covered. And yeah, you just don't want hard pieces yes, of rice no. when you're cooking. You don't want that weird crunch coming in. Okay, so all the rice on the bottom with the liquid, we're just gonna leave that there. Okay. So I'll let you go next. The next thing you're gonna do is add one onion. This is just a yellow onion. We sliced it up pretty thin and it will soften up in this Instant Pot. And then to this, we're gonna add about a cup and a half of chicken. Yeah. We like to use a rotisserie chicken and shred it up just because it's so easy, easy. <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> or you can even buy cooked pre-shredded chicken in your deli at most grocery stores too. Yep. So. so we'll add in our chicken and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. So it's like two cloves equals one teaspoon. Yeah. So just throw it in. And then just some salt and pepper to taste. We'll twist this guy around. Mm. I love my pepper. I, I love the smell of onions too. Mm -hmm. it smells favorite. like Sunday morning. It totally does. Ah. <laughs> Is that bad luck? I think that's bad luck. <laughs> Do I toss it over my shoulder now? Do it. Okay. Okay. That's it. That is it. So the secret of this is you're not gonna mix it in right now. So we kind of just put everything on top. Yes. All right, so you're gonna put the lid on. If you hear that little jingle, that means you're doing it right. Yep. Um, now usually if you have a little knob, you would turn it to like sealing. Not venting. Not venting. But this one is like, it's a different one. It's a Duo Nova. So I don't have to push anything. I'll just put the lid on and it will automatically set to what I want it to. So now we're gonna push the pressure cook or if you have a manual button, it's the same thing. And then you're gonna push up. We're gonna cook for seven minutes because that's how long our rice needs to cook. Everything else will be fine. So set that and then you can just walk away. All right, it is done cooking. So now it's time we're gonna release the pressure because it's rice. So you yes. can do a quick release, get it out of there quick. So usually you would turn your little knob to venting, mm -hmm. but because this one's a little bit different, all I have to do is press the button. So be ready. Back up. <laughs> So while we were letting all the pressure release, we steamed our broccoli because yes. if you put broccoli in and cook it all together, it kind of disintegrates. It kind of <laughs> disappears. disappears. It does. Which it's, is how I prefer my broccoli. <laughs> but. I think our dad does too. <laughs> but so I like it so you can still see the broccoli. So I like to steam it while we release this. So. Yes. Anyways, pressure is released. Broccoli is steamed. We're ready to go. Awesome. Can I stir it? Yep, go ahead okay. and stir. Okay, so while you're mixing that, I'm just gonna dump in the broccoli. Okay. Okay. So we have like two cups of broccoli. In yes. There. Mix it all in. Mm -hmm. And then to this, we're going to add about six ounces of cheddar cheese. Like what, a cup and a half? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So mix it all in. It's a little warm. It is warm. 
And this will just melt into it, making the whole dish just cheesy. cheesy. I love, like, one of my favorite dishes is chicken and cheese mm -hmm. and rice. And, yes. Uh, Throw in a vegetable so good, that right? you can't even taste. You're it's good. a win-win. <laughs> it is. Okay. We'll just dish it out so you can see it better. Nice. This bowl is so cute. Yes. Now, if you want to add more spices, a little more salt and pepper, yes. you are welcome to do that. But your kids are going to love this. And yeah. I guess your, the adults, too, will love it, too. Oh, I'm losing cheese. There we go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Now, if you want more easy dump and go recipes, you can find them just right over here. And we will see you guys next time. See you later. later.